tonight's topic. Okay, and tonight we're talking about how to upload your assignment. Now, in some ways, I know that this probably sounds terribly simplistic, but it's important that we take you through the steps uh, that are required so that you know exactly what you are doing each step of the way. Um, you know, we do not want anybody to be confused. We do not want anybody to miss uploading an assignment uh, or anything like that. So, first of all, some reminders, because it's always good to have reminders. Then we're going to deal with downloading the assignment. We're going to deal with completing the assignment offline, creating a .pdf document, okay. And, of course, finally uploading the assignment. So, Mandy says, you know, one of the things that we've, we've covered is, the, is that the POE now contains three learning phases, okay. Um, and very important that these learning phases are sequential. So basically, if I'm looking at the POE, I cannot do learning phase two until I have completed learning phase one. And that is the assignment and the class test or the test. Okay, both of which are online for learning phase one. Okay, similarly, learning phase two, the assignment and the test are online. Okay, you cannot do learning phase three until you have completed learning phase two. Okay, so this is something very important and, and you know, something we students need to be aware of in terms of planning their time. I think if you're going to try and rush everything and do all three learning phases in, in two days, I mean, you yeah, you're, you're being a little bit unrealistic. Right, so moving on. So let's talk about downloading the assignment. Very, very important. There is one answer book and one question paper. On, on your POE, you will see that there are um, little blue links. Okay, students need to download the question paper and the answer book. Okay, so it's two downloads that need to happen. From there, they need to print off the downloaded question paper and answer book. Here we're looking very specifically at assignment three, which happens in learning phase three. This is downloaded and completed offline for all students. The assignment is completed in the answer book. Okay, that is very, very important. Okay, if you write it on another piece of paper and upload it, we're unlikely to accept it. Okay, students are required to write the answers to the questions in the answer book, okay? Um, sorry, Gary, does that mean that I cannot, for instance, um, convert the PDF answer book into an editable document like Word and then type in my answers, save as PDF and upload? Nope. nope. Okay. I want to see your handwriting, <laughs> okay? And we will come to handwriting <laughs> just now, <clears throat> okay? Again, very, very important when you are writing the assignment, you need to do it in black pen. Very, very important that you write legibly. If I receive work as, an, as, as the marker, okay, and I cannot clearly see what you have written, I cannot assign you a mark. Okay, so your handwriting needs to be neat. It needs to be done in black pen, okay, and preferably free of grammar errors, okay, or as free as possible. Okay, because sometimes we, we make many grammar errors and it actually obscures the meaning. So there are various things that we need to pay close attention to in completing assignment three. So now we get to the exciting part, uploading the assignment. So first of all, you need to scan the, the assignment. So scan your answer book, okay? The most common way of doing this is using a scanner that is already um, part of a printer. The alternative, Ta-da! Okay, depending on the make of your phone, okay, you can use your phone to scan those documents. Okay, but please don't wait until the last minute to try it, okay? Rather test it beforehand. When you are scanning the document, you need to, well, scanning your answer book, you need to scan it as a single .pdf document, okay? Your answer book may be 20 pages, we do not want 20 scans, we want one, okay? This is, this is really important to pay, note to pay attention to because on your POE when you're uploading the document, okay, there is space for one upload. 
you cannot upload multiple documents. Okay, so this is why you need to actually get it down to or scan it as a single document. So that when we download it on our end, we get it as one. You scan the document, okay? And it's you make sure that it is in PDF format. The third thing to do is to rename the document. And so we have a very, very specific uh, naming sequence, okay? So if you're looking at the screen, you will see assignment underscore three underscore subject. Subject, now this is the name of the module that you're doing. So it could be for keeping to trial balance, it could be um, CPRS, it could be um, FRRF. Okay, so what can I use um, the shortened name for the subject, or does it need to be bookkeeping to child balance, or can I say BKTB? You can say BKTB. Okay, okay because that that is something that that we use, so we are familiar with that. If you just say BK, well then, okay. So please make sure if you if you're you when you're using the name, okay, if you're going to use BKTB, you write BKTB. Okay, we need the whole thing there. Then. After the subject, okay, underscore reference number. Now the reference number is the student's ICB student number. Please, no ID numbers, okay? Everybody is issued with a unique ICB student number and that is what needs to go in there. Okay, so once all of that is done, we can now upload the document. If you look at your POE online, okay, very, very clearly, it indicates where you need to upload the document. This is what your screen will look like, okay? So you will see um, in the center there, you have that large white block with file submissions, and there is your file. You can see uh, as it is a PDF document, okay? And with the name of the file. Above that, there is this pink block, Okay, in the pink block, there is a little box that you need to tick. This box, well, this tick confirms that this is your own work, that you have not plagiarized, that you've not copied anybody, that nobody else has helped you with the assignment that should not have. If you do not tick this box, tick the declaration, okay, you will not be able to submit. Okay, so once you have ticked the box, down at the bottom, you see there's a blue button, and you click on save changes. And from there, the screen changes and you will get a page called submission status. Now there are a number of, uh, there's, a, there's a number of important things that are contained in this page, okay? On this page, the students will be able to see the status of their submission. So in other words, submitted for grading. It has not been marked yet and we can look, we can see there on the graded status. Okay. Once, it, once it has been marked, that will change. You see the due date, so in other words, when is the assignment due? Time remaining, so the time remaining refers to the difference between now and the due date of the assignment. Okay, so students can see if they've uploaded early, okay, I still have three days, two minutes and 29 seconds left, okay, before the final, before the final submission is due. We can see when it was last modified. Now the last modified date, that is when the student uploaded the document. All right. And finally in the list, okay, we have got the file submissions and there is the name of the file at the bottom. Below the submission status, there is another, there is a blue button. This one says, make changes to your submission. So if it is not the final date, okay, or final point of, uh, of submission, I do have the option of making changes. I can go back, I can make changes, rescan the document, re-upload it. You can make changes to assignment three up until the final submission. 